Hello, precious souls. Welcome to A Twin Flame Journey. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on Twin Flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. A Twin Flame Journey is now available. Feel free to check that out in the description box below. Episode 5, An Unexpected Meeting, has just been released. Follow along as Aura tells the story of a twin flame journey. So I would like to sort of um, pull some oracle messages for this upcoming video. I do have love and light oracle cards in my hand. I'm shuffling. Um... And I'm hearing this song, even though we ain't got money. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. That's the song that I'm hearing right now. So there was a car that just flew out. It says, um, focus on your blessings. Very beautiful message here. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. I do want to read the description for this one in um, the book that I have for this as well. And I do want to pull one more card here. One more card here for this group of twin flames, please. What do we have for the collective? Another card just flew out. We have make the best of every situation. With God, everything is possible. I do want to read the description for both of these cards here. I want to start with focus on your blessings. This card is absolute. I feel like this has a very specific message for a very small group of twin flames right now. It says, in our earthly lives, things don't always go the way we'd like. It's not a matter of whether problems will arise. They will. But it's how we deal with them that counts. We can complain and obsess about issues, or we can pray for solutions and take action as God guides us to do. Keep a journal of the ways in which God has blessed you and answered your prayers. Read this during challenging moments to help help you keep the faith that he'll continue to guide you focusing upon your blessings keeps your heart joyfully open to the beauty of life you're reminded of how much you have to be grateful for and this gratitude lifts you up with optimism which in turn opens the door for you to notice and accept wonderful new opportunities we are never alone even though it may feel that way at times God is always by our side. Prayer is a direct hotline to God. All our needs can be fulfilled when we pray, allowing us to count our many blessings and be thankful for them. Yes, and this is the description underneath as well where it says focus on your blessings. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And when we take our gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. So the next card that flew out here, we have make the best of every situation. Make the best of every situation. I want to read the description for this one as well. And I do keep hearing that song as well, even though we ain't got money. While I'm pulling these, have you ever admired how a bird glides and dives so gracefully? Yet, as easy as it makes it look, it must hold a very measured and precise posture to safely and effectively die for food. Perhaps like the bird, you're holding tension in your body, stressed by too much work and pressuring, pressing responsibilities. It may be time to assess your own beliefs about what constitutes being an adult. Did you watch your parents work, work continually? engaged non-stop in their careers or housework or volunteer work you can reinvent what it means to be a healthy and responsible adult balancing giving with receiving like the bird you can glide gracefully 
while meeting all your responsibilities. The key is to shoulder your burdens with God, who will lift you up the moment you ask for his help. Through challenging experiences comes wisdom and a deeper understanding of life. Pray to find the blessings and lessons within each situation and you will. So underneath it also says, with God, everything is possible. But it also says, Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Beautiful, beautiful messages. And I do want to move to the kipper as well. I want to look at both sides. We want to look at both sides and we want to get some messages and we want to connect with spirit at this time. We want to connect with spirit at this time. Let's see what messages do we have for both of these twin flames at this time. For a group of twin flames, what messages do we have for them? Marriage. First card that comes out here is marriage. I don't feel like this is like a third party. Someone's involved in a marriage. I feel like this is a spiritual marriage happening currently in the fifth dimension. And this is also card number three here. What else do we have for these two twin flames? Toil and labor. 38. Card number 38. We also have unexpected income and we also have house here. Underneath the deck, we have card number 33, concern here. So I feel like I'm connecting with a feminine, a twin flame who is spiritual, the spiritual twin flame, but in a feminine body at this time. They are older than their twin flame. They have worked very hard. I feel like to the point of physical exhaustion. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm connecting with a female spiritual twin who who has been on this journey and it's like they have had this belief, this limiting belief. I do feel like this is shedding from their life at this time, but I feel like they have had this limiting belief of working to the point of physical exhaustion and that will take them to incredible heights on this journey but I, I feel like spirit is kind of trying to um I feel like spirit is kind of trying to get in there and be like no you don't really have to work that hard to kind of get what you want and I feel like it has it has paid them off up into a certain point and I do feel like I'm connecting with a group of twin flames it's like Every relationship that has entered into every relationship that has entered into their life has basically shown them that they deserve their twin flame. Their twin flame was actually meant for them. I do have the house here and unexpected income. I feel like I feel like I'm connecting also with a feminine twin flame who they have struggled financially but they've it's like they've connected working hard to the point of physical exhaustion with money and I feel like that's where that song kind of comes into play with this at this time like the song of even though we ain't got money like it's just like money can buy you a lot of things but I feel like, I feel as if separating yourself from the things that money is buying you or bringing you at this time is going to make this journey a lot easier for you, um, more so connecting to your spiritual self. And I do feel like I'm connecting with a group of twin flames too that are 
kind of just diving into a very heavy spiritual process. Okay, what other messages do we have here? Wow, okay. We have the lovers and sudden wealth here. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's kind of like connecting love with um, unconditional love, but also it's just like your vibrations are rising and as your vibrations are rising it's kind of like more money is coming in you're you're kind of detaching from how much money you have or how much money you need or it's kind of like an unconditional loving feeling separating yourself from that and i feel like this is where your truth is because it's like the divine is guiding these two twin flames at this time and because they're listening to their intuition or I feel as if the spiritual twin has been listening to their intuition a lot more and there's this mirroring effect happening at this time but it's almost as if the divine is blessing these two twin flames right now sudden wealth and the lovers here very powerful message number 11 card number 11 and we also have card number 15 here very beautiful messages community see it's almost as if um the there's all of these angels and guides and spirit guides that are sort of guiding these two twin flames back to one another um, to reunite, to basically accomplish something very specific. It's, it's the two of them have something to accomplish together in this lifetime. So any other romantic relationships that kind of tried to interfere, it's like the divine's like, no, that's not in the cards, but it's almost like a test. And as these two twin flames sort of pass this test separately in separation it's it's like these these guides are assisting and i do feel like underneath the deck i just want to throw this out there underneath the deck we do have journey here so i do feel as if these two twin flames have spirit guides and on the matrix side currently um the matrix is i feel as if they are in a male body they're a little bit younger than the spiritual twin i feel like the spiritual twin is in a female body at this time and there is a feminine energy that is connecting with the matrix um very strong ancestral um, energy, but also there is a male energy present as well that is trying to connect with the matrix. I do feel like the matrix feels this very heavily and excessively. Um, they are very spiritual. Um, I do also feel as if they're very religious. It's almost as if they kind of let the religious aspect sort of get in the way of their spirituality and um, their gifts as well. They are incredibly very gifted, very intuitive, but I do feel like there's something here about the spiritual world that kind of gets to them a little bit here and there. Um, underneath the deck, excuse me, underneath the deck we do have... We do have journey here and I feel like these two twin flames as well, they're at a distance from one another. They, one of, one will need to travel to see the other or it's almost as if one twin flame will need to meet halfway or somewhere in the middle. I do feel like there is some sort of ascension happening as well between these two twin flames. It's like the spiritual twin has been doing the work and now the matrix is doing the work at this time as well. What other messages do you have for these two twin flames? We have pathway, coffin, and also false person. See, this is, I feel like the divine is sending in false, um, I don't want to say false 
a false person. I mean, obviously the card says false person, but I feel like the divine is sort of sending in these conventional relationships that give false hope. It's like false pretenses or um, kind of making false promises, but there's really a lot more behind that. It's like the universe's way of sort of testing both of these twin flames to see if they kind of deserve one another and they definitely deserve one another but it's sort of it's sort of like have they connected have they connected in a different realm first have they connected in that way we also have pathway here with coffin there's some type of ending here and i do feel as if there is a matrix um, I don't know why, but I'm feeling addictions at this time, like very heavy addictions with the matrix. And I feel like they're kind of putting that to a close. Um, these two sort of came out together, pathway coffin, as well as false person. Um, I feel like the matrix is putting a close to either a relationship or habits some type of very heavy habit that they have had where um and with this false person card as well there's this man standing in the background with a mask on so it's kind of like they're kind of taking off this mask and reliving moments with their twin flame as well card number eight here i feel like i'm connecting with the number eight so some of you i feel as if have been separated with your twin flame for eight years eight months um not really eight days i feel like it's there's been a longer time time span between the two of you and but it's almost as if this matrix had to kind of go through this process um, of some type of addictions is what I'm hearing at this time. Some type of addictions or they, they're putting a close to some type of false relationship. Um, they, it's almost like they were looking for their twin flame in some of these relationships and they realized, no, these, this is not my twin flame. This is not my counterpart. This is not, this is not, who I'm really meant to be with. Uh, underneath the deck, we do have message of concern now. And then uh, official person. So I feel like I feel like someone is awakening. So I want to see what other messages we have here. What other messages? See, official person just came out, just flew right out. Card number 22. I feel like a lot of you are seeing the awakening code 1111 at this time. I'm also seeing the number 222 as well. What else do we have here? Mature man. Yep. See, so I I feel like they are maturing, okay, but also awakening to some type of realization and they are they're going through something that the feminine had to go through. So the feminine has already sort of been through this. And it's like the matrix is going through it right now at this present time. And after they go through this, I feel like that is when they're going to start wandering about their twin flame, their spiritual twin. They're going to start wandering about them. They're overcoming something at this time. Underneath the deck again, we also have journey here. So these two twin flames are at a distance. It's, you know, they either have to get on a plane, get on a train, um, I'm also hearing like 3000 miles away. Um, so for some of you, there is definitely some type of long distance here. There's, there's a lot of distance between these two physical distance. What other final messages do we have for these two twin flames message of concern? And we also have bad health here. So I'm hearing the feminine is, it's like the more the feminine takes care, the more the spiritual twin takes care of their physical health, their body, 
it's like the more that this matrix sort of steps out of this energy of addictions and um, going out all the time, drinking, I'm, I'm hearing also a lot of drinking, drinking very heavily. Um, it, they had to overcome this. And it's like overcoming this of this energy of not feeling good enough for this connection and not feeling good enough for them, for their twin flame. Um, and then underneath the deck, we have great fortune, great fortune, courtship message. Someone's getting ready to sort of contact their twin flame. That's what I'm feeling very heavily with this. They're getting ready to sort of reach out, contact, make contact, sort of reacquainting their, themselves with their twin flame, possibly even planning a trip here. Um, very beautiful messages. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the reading there. I hope that these messages helped many of you out there. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey. <laughs>